Thanks for joining us tonight. Our big story at six. He is Arizona's QAnon candidate, and now he's hitting the campaign trail, hoping to represent Northern Arizona in Congress. Experts say that Ron Watkins has been the leading influencer on the far right QAnon conspiracy website. But how serious of a candidate is he? Team 12's Bram Resnick is giving us our first look at the Watkins campaign at his rally today in Prescott. Bram. Ron Watkins tells me he has a million fans on social media, yet only 35 people showed up today for his rally here at Prescott's Courthouse Square. It's just one sign that this closely watched campaign by a Stop the Steal candidate is off to a very slow start. Ron Watkins is starting to sound like a politician. Veterans are a top issue. There are 22 veterans each day committing suicide. He's even disputing the crowd size. I think there were more than 35 people. It looked to be about 100 people here. But Watkins can't change who he is. For one, the banks won't let him. Watkins says that's one reason his $34,000 campaign war chest is so small. Banks and stuff wouldn't work with us due to how controversial we are. But these Watkins supporters know what they're getting. Some of us who've been online and know him, that's one thing, but a lot of normal people <laughs> don't necessarily, you know, go that way. Robin McManus said she'd followed Watkins online for a few years. How important is it that he wants to overturn the election? To me, it's very important. Experts say that as a leading QAnon influencer, Watkins has presided over safe internet spaces where anything goes. Racism, anti-Semitism, and his top issue, plotting to restore Donald Trump to the White House. Watkins' Republican primary opponents are State Representative Walter Blackman and Eli Crane, a business owner and Navy SEAL veteran. Blackman and Crane combined are out raising Watkins by a 50 to 1 margin. The winner of the Republican primary here in CD2 will face Democratic Congressman Tom O'Halloran in the November election. In Prescott, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thank you.